I'll tell you what guys, it's been an interesting start to the year. So I've not been posting on YouTube or even on Instagram really, um, because I actually had an injury at the start of the year. So I was going to Centre Parks with my family. We were just going, I think it was the 9th or 10th of January. We went, we just went for a long weekend. It was my mum's birthday. So Centre Parks is like an activity centre. You rent bikes, you stay in like a lodge cabin, that kind of thing. And um, <laughs> me being me, being on a bike, took me back to my younger days being a teenager I always used to go on bikes and stuff when I was younger going, going around with your mates on bikes like, it's pretty fun isn't it and I have been on a mountain bike for ages probably like six or seven years or something like that so obviously I'm messing about a bit driving a bit too fast riding a bit too fast doing wheelies doing skids that type of thing so um, how it happened was I was basically racing my dad. <laughs> my dad had a trailer attached to his, but um, my nephew wasn't in it at the time. So he was trying to go as fast as he could. We were like going up this road and uh, it was uphill and then it was slightly downhill. We were just coming back from like playing table tennis. It was like half five at night, getting ready. Then we we're gonna go out for some food. So we were racing, I was probably going like, I don't know, maybe like 35, 40 miles an hour something. I was going pretty quick. I was going as fast as I could. And then obviously tried to do the world's longest skid which is press the back brake, just see how long it can skid for. So I've pressed the back brake and I'm just skidding for ages here. And then I, I, the, my mistake is I've touched the front brake here at the same time. And I think I've took my finger off the back brake. So the bike's just kind of locked up. I flew over the handlebars and I've landed on my right shoulder. That's taken most of the impact. I think I hit my head off the handlebars as I, as I went down. So I've obviously, I've got pretty lucky that I've hit my shoulder. Um, so I've hit the shoulder and I've shot up and I'm like, fucking hell, that kills that. So I sit down and I jump back up again, but luckily we're right near the cabin where we're staying. So we go inside and I'm like thinking, it's not great this, I've probably done something. But obviously like the adrenaline kicks in, done it, like the shock kind of thing. And uh, we go and I take my top off and you can see like a bit of my collarbone sticking up. Um, so I was like, I'm like, panicking a bit thinking fucking hell I've like I've like dislocated my shoulder maybe but the pain wasn't like too too bad I could still move my arm around as well so I had like good range of motion so I was like this is strange this so the paramedic came from Centre Parks had a look at me recommended that I went to A&E so he went to A&E that night and um had an x-ray they said you've probably dislocated your shoulder when they first looked at me so they said have an x-ray we'll have a look at that and then we'll take you to resource and we'll pop it back in and i was thinking oh it's gonna be a sore one that they'll give you gas and air or whatever so um <laughs> wasn't looking forward to that i had an x-ray and then they called me back in and they said you've actually not dislocated your shoulder your shoulder's actually fine it's all in place and everything's like fine you've actually ruptured your ac joint so your ac joint is what attaches it's like the ligament that attaches your collarbone to your clavicle so i've ruptured that basically means you've snapped that so that's why the bone is sticking up a little bit and um, so yeah the pain was pretty bad to be honest like it wasn't bad at the time because like the adrenaline kicks in or whatever but for the next few days the pain was bad like i've not really had many massive injuries like touch wood i've like sprained my ankle a few times rolled my ankle done ligaments in your ankle and that kind of thing but this was pretty bad um so we booked an appointment because we were in nottingham we booked an appointment at my local hospital for Wednesday um, to see like a shoulder specialist. I managed to get in luckily. And he said like, you may or may not need surgery. He was like, he didn't know at the time, but basically I, it's been about three and a half weeks now. That's why I've not posted. I've just been resting up, just trying to like heal as much as possible. And it's he been healing like really well, you know, like you can kind of see, like it's not dead flat my shoulder but it's so much better than it was, like so much better. I can move it. I've got basically full range of motion, which is fucking mad after three and a half weeks of the incident and rupturing your AC joint. So he said he's very pretty confident that I'm not gonna need surgery, which is good news obviously, because I don't wanna be then out for another 12 to 16 weeks, which is what the recovery time would be. Um, so hopefully it can recover on its own. I've just gotta do the rehab, um, just take it easy, rest it as much as possible. But yeah, basically I'm just an idiot. Boys will be boys, men will be men. We're always gonna fuck about. And that's why I've not been posting. It's basically been my own fault. So obviously with my shoulder being the way it is, I can't really like try on clothes as much as possible, like t-shirts and getting stuff over your head. It was pretty hard at the start. Like I couldn't even put socks on, I couldn't put shoes, couldn't tie shoelaces. Laura's been proper looking after me. So massive shout out to Laura. If I lived on my own, I don't know what I'd do, honestly. Like. 
Um, but now it kind of gives you an insight into like sporting injuries and if you're a footballer or a tennis player or and, and you have a big like injury how much it affects your mind and mentally and just like getting over that that first um first few weeks of the pain and not being able to do what you want to do like for me i'm pretty lucky most of my job is on laptop but i still can't create content for you guys or haven't been able to um it just you kind of puts things into perspective and stuff can change in an instant do you know what i mean so just gotta be grateful gotta be thankful it could have been a lot worse i could have smacked my head off a rock i could have smacked my head off the floor off concrete off a wooden post do you know what i mean i could be dead in theory so thankful hopefully my shoulder will heal up nicely if not then the consultant has said i can have surgery at whatever point which is pretty nice so we've always got that as, a, as an option but anyway just a an, bit of an update and while we've got the update going i thought i'd show you some of my recent pickups because it's been that long it's been probably four or five weeks since i've done a youtube video and i've actually picked up some nice stuff you know some stuff that i'm actually wearing myself not just hauls that i'm showing you guys stuff that is actually i've been added to my wardrobe so let's get into that kind of stuff we've got a couple of pairs of trainers and we've got some nice items of clothing it actually was my birthday a few weeks ago well like 10 days ago so i got a couple of pieces for my birthday which is quite nice i think we're going to start off with the trainers you know so we did get some arn trainers these what are they called now these let's have a look uh, arena trainer white and gray uk size 10 in this white charcoal light gray colorway and just mint i think they're absolutely class super simple you guys know me i love my simple minimal menswear stuff that is going to be able to match with charcoal pair of jeans mid blue pair of jeans cargo pants smart pants chinos the mint they're pretty comfy as well they do have quite a big heel quite a big wedge so for me they make me pretty tall maybe like six foot three but if you add a bit of height could also be another option they have loads of colorways on their website as always i'll link everything in the description but yeah really like these I think they're 110, so pretty reasonable as well, to be fair. Right, next pair of trainers. I've actually been having a bit of a clear out while I've not been able to do much, so I've sold quite a few things on Vinted. I still have some stuff on Vinted now, so if you want to go and have a look, I'll put the link to it in the description. Um, we sold some cleans trainers because I just wasn't wearing them. I had so many. They're nice. I've still got a couple. I think I've got three pairs. I had six or seven even, so I've sold a couple of them and just sorted out some clothes so there's still some bargains to be had go and have a look down there but yeah we got some new nike dunks i've been just living in these at the minute because i just feel like i don't know if they're timeless they kind of are so in this like gray blue colorway well nice i'm a size uk 10 in these as well they have like a clear sole like similar color to the blue but sole i've not even worn these yet because I want to keep them fresh. You know what I mean, I want to keep them super fresh. So, my sister actually works at JD. She managed to get me a bit of a discount. So, I've got these for 90 instead of 120. She's very nice. What's the colorway called? Uh, white and light carbon. Yeah, I, I love dunks. You can wear them again with jeans, cargo pants, smart trousers, shorts as well when it starts to come into summer. And I think they're pretty comfy. I know some people don't say they're comfy, but I feel like you can walk about. If you're on a city break, you can wear these which is obviously a big plus. It was also pretty good timing because um, obviously it had been Christmas and Black Friday and the stock for Silver had literally sold out. We didn't have much stock at all. So it's been like, the start of the year has been quite quiet. So I know it sounds bad, but it's probably the perfect time for an injury to happen because I didn't have loads to do, which was lucky. But we've got a massive launch for Sulfit uh, coming up in the next couple of weeks. It's going to be in the like, it's going to be like two weeks on Sunday, I'm thinking. But make sure you're... Uh, following us in on instagram and um, we've got smart pants coming back a lot of people have been asking me about the smart trousers they're coming back in black charcoal and navy we've got a new color navy we've got cargo pants as well in black and a new color dark gray and then we finally got hoodies so we're shooting we're doing the shoot on saturday for it so we'll get all the content this saturday and then it's probably going to be either Sunday after or Sunday after that. So just make sure you're, you're up to date on all the socials and you're uh, signed up to the mailing list because the hoodies, I'll do more videos for you. I'll be able to show you now, but the hoodies are just class, like the unreal hoodies. I'm so happy with that. Like the quality for the price is just going to be unparalleled. Trust me, it's going to be the one. Right, so the first piece we got was from H&M. This shacket overshirt. I'm not going to try it on because my shoulder is still like 
when I've been moving a lot, it does ache, do you know what I mean? So I still got to take it easy. So we got this overshirt jacket, 37.99, size large. I always go large from H&M in this navy white colorway, crisscross. Really nice fit to be fair. It's kind of like a, I'd say it's like a regular fit, but the large always fits me well in H&M. And it's nice, I like wearing overshirt jackets. They're just easy to style, aren't they? Could wear it with jeans, smart pants, chinos, t-shirt underneath, they always look good. And we got another jacket from H&M, which is, I think it's the same, just a different color. So it's this gray color, again, super easy to style, size large. I, th I feel like the jackets from H&M, they're always a good fit on me, on my kind of build. Um, and it's nice that I don't have to wear an extra large. It's always, that's always nice for me that. Yeah, regular fit, large. Can't go wrong with a jacket. I'll show you this next jacket. So we've got something from M&S. M&S is very good, you know, like super affordable. And the only thing is the fit is very hit or miss. So you've got to try it on, but we've got another jacket, size large in navy. Really, really I love wearing jackets because they look smart and you don't have to put a lot of effort or thought into it. Do you know what I mean? For me, that's what fashion is about. It's keeping it simple. You want to be comfy, but you also want to look good. And you don't want to be like looking at your order thinking, what can I wear? What do I wear? Like, I need to do a minimal menswear capsule wardrobe because something like this is definitely in it. You whack a white t-shirt on a gray t-shirt, even a navy t-shirt, you put a pair of jeans, a pair of chinos, job done. Like you look decent, do you know what I mean? People say NPC but people say an NPC are the ones living in the mum's basement, so they've not got a leg to stand on, do you know what I mean? Right, another item from H&M. So this is actually a loose fit. It's a long sleeve knitted polo shirt with the white stripes. I feel like this has been a massive trend, hasn't it, the past few months. I also got that one with the opposite colorway. Well, it's black, but it's like, this is from H&M as well. This is um, a quarter zip and this is the polo. But yeah, loose fit, so I size down to a, to a large. And it fits really nice, to be fair. It's decent, like, I like this kind of stuff. It's nice. Good thing about H&M is, like I said, it's pretty affordable. And yeah, the quality isn't going to be as good as, say, Massimo Dutti or Reese or something like that. But if you've not got loads of money and you still want to look decent, it does the job. The final pickup, we actually got two of these. So we've got some gilets because the past gilets I've been wearing have been too puffy. I wanted a nice lightweight one. So this is a feather down gilet from M&S again, Marks and Spencers. And it's really nice, like steel gray color. Size large. They look well nice. Let me just try this on. They look well nice, I think, um, over a hoodie or like a quarter zip or something like that. Just got some uh, a sulfate sample pants on that we might be releasing, but do you know what I mean? It just adds a bit of a layer. Can't beat it. And it's super lightweight, but it does keep you warm because it's got the feather down in it. It's got zip pockets. I think these are 45 pounds, so they're pretty affordable again. I also picked it up in black, but it's at the office at the minute. And they do it in brown, they do it in loads of colors. Like I said, I'll link it in the description. It's definitely my favorite gilet out there. It's better than Uniqlo, it's better than Zara, 100%. And I've tried a lot of gilets. Digging it, very nice. I'm gonna be all right as long as I keep like with these videos trying on like zip up stuff, <laughs> like zip up jackets, zip up coats, um, gilets, zip up hoodies, and pants I'm fine with. I also picked up, I think it's in the wash maybe, so I've been wearing it a lot. I've been wearing a lot of zip up stuff, like I said. Um, a relaxed fit on heavy hoodie, a zip up one. It's well nice, like proper, proper nice. I got it in black and I also got it in stone. I think that's been delivered to the neighbor. I'll have to go and get that, but yeah. Yeah. The on heavyweight hoodies are nice, the zip up ones. Um, and I also got some, okay, let me have a look. We got some of the um, relaxed joggers from Arn as well. I got these for my birthday off Hannah, Laura's sister. So these are pretty nice. The cuffed at the bottom, something just like to lounge around the house or you could wear like a full track suit. They look nice with the Arn trainers or even dunks. Can't really go wrong with Arn, can you? Minimal menswear and it's not too expensive at all. That's the recent updates, the recent pickups. I thought I'd update you anyway, like it's been a while, I've been gone AWOL on YouTube big time. I know I've not been as posting as much as I did like say 18 months ago, but that was mainly because Sulfate was getting busy and now it's because of this stupid fucking injury. But anyway, we're gonna get, it's just gonna get better day by day. Um, it's definitely getting better. 
Another thing was, I can't play fucking paddle. I've been smashing paddle, I got a new racket for Christmas. If you follow me on Instagram, you probably already know that this has happened to me, but let's see. It's a big wake up call and stuff like that. You've got to be careful. Like as you get older, I think for doing a fall or something, or you don't bounce back like when you're a teenager. You don't just jump up, do you know what I mean? Stuff breaks. But I reckon if I didn't go to the gym, my shoulder would be mangled like properly mangled anyway guys i proper appreciate all your support like whoever messaged me on instagram with all your concerns like i'm all good i'm going to be back making videos make sure you go and check out all the items in this video if you like the look of them i'll link them in the description and go and have a look at my vintage for some bargains some bargains to be had on there big ones but yeah catch you on the next one see you later